I would like to demonstrate an electrostatic motor that rotates. I have this plastic cup and I've cut four strips of aluminum foil and with a glue stick put them down on the cup such that I have about a centimeter gap between the strips. And the number of strips you have on here doesn't matter. Then I have this pencil on which the cup can be balanced. And then I have these two wires positioned so they're on opposite sides of the cup and there's about a, a centimeter gap and I'm going to connect the wire on the right to a Van de Graaff generator and charge it up to about 10,000 volts and the wire on the left is going to be connected to ground. I've connected the wire on the right to the Van de Graaff generator so it will charge up to about 10,000 volts and the wire on the left is connected to ground. So I'm going to now turn on the Van de Graaff generator and you'll hear the little electric motor and the cup should start to rotate. Okay, so let's explain what is happening here. Here's an illustration of our rotary electrostatic motor. Here is the plastic cup, and I'm showing two of the pieces of aluminum foil on the two opposite sides. This is the wire that is connected to the Van de Graaff generator, our 10,000 volt source. And this is the wire on the other side that is connected to ground. Later we'll see that as the radius of curvature gets smaller, the electric field gets larger. So at a very sharp point, like the point of this wire, the electric field will be very large. And so the air molecules in that region, what can happen under that high electric field is that an electron gets pulled off and to the wire. So this oxygen molecule will become positively charged and it will be then repelled by the positive charges on this 10 kilovolt wire. It will hit the aluminum foil on this side and charge it up positively. Okay, and then it will be, so this aluminum foil here will be repelled by this positive charged wire and so the cup will rotate around and now on this side these positive charges will attract electrons from ground and again the electrons will be concentrated at this tip will have a high electric field at this tip and electrons will be can be uh, emitted into the gap region where the air molecules then, like this oxygen molecule, will become negatively charged, attracted to the surface, and neutralize a positive charge. And in that way, this aluminum foil will be neutralized and the thing will rotate around so the process can, can continue. 